Hello and welcome to Diary of a Trader. In some of our previous videos, we have discussed the importance of identifying where market bottoms may arrive and where we may see uh, uh, the turning point in a market. And the the video, if you watched it, if, if it was the most recent video on using Ethereum as the example, then you saw that we had all these confluent zones of these shared Fibonacci areas. We had angles within the GAN square of 90. And we also had uh, a volume supporting that. Uh, one of, the, but today I really want to discuss how to use, and this is really specific to just cryptocurrencies, is how to use short charts to determine whether you it's safe to go long or short in a long term or short term uh, trading trading bias. So we'll use uh, Bitcoin as this example. So if I look at Bitcoin's chart. I see that you know we have been in a downtrend, and I see that we are uh, uh, finding some type of support, maybe, but not sure. You know, it's hard to determine whether or not this will stay. Is this just a false support zone? Or are we going to just continue down lower? Well, looking at just this chart can sometimes not provide enough info, or even if it does provide enough info, we always like to see other contrary and confirming information and one of the benefits <coughs> excuse me of of cryptocurrencies is that many of the most traded pairs like bitcoin ethereum litecoin eos uh, uh, cardano they will have accompanying short charts and, and this is usually just from one data provider and that's bitfinex they're another cryptocurrency exchange and so if we look at this is the bitcoin dollar pair but the shorts so this chart represents it's it's shorts meaning that these are bear trades these are people who are taking short positions against bitcoin this chart shows us how much participation shorts are having so if there are more people shorting bitcoin on this chart it will look bullish it will look like buyers Let's look at the daily on this. So we can see that as we have gone on and we've 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 progressed over the last uh, ever since the begin end of the month of May and the beginning of June, we've had an increase in the people participating in shorting Bitcoin. OK, so this is the short interest. Now, as we're looking at this, though, what has happened as we've moved forward during during the days? We've gotten kind of expansive. We've really technically gone parabolic. And if you remember, the definition of a parabolic rise is you have a clear and steady trend, but then the swings or the trend, they get more and more expansive in their, their rain, the, the, the slope or the pitch increases considerably as we move higher. And so this is the definition of a parabolic move. And that is exactly what's happened with this chart. In addition to that, we can see that in our Fib retracement from swing high to swing low, we see that we have found a stopping area not only at the top of our Ichimoku cloud but at the, but that has also equated to the 50% retracement zone in the in the in the in our Fibonacci uh, retracement so we see this short volume is 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 coming down so a lot of people who bought that's if we remember in the parabolic rise that people are experiencing FOMO, fear of missing out, where people have participated at the top here thinking they're gonna short at, this, at these levels, but in fact, they're gonna be the people that will fuel a rise lower. And so if we're looking at the chart here, we see that as Bitcoin has been rising in value from its most recent swing, we see that the Bitcoin shorts have been falling. And so as we see more and more decreased values in this chart, we can see higher prices correspond to Bitcoin. Now, one thing we may notice, and this does happen, is you'll see Bitcoin rising in value. 
as well as the shorts. And so there's a couple ways that you can that you can view this because if prices in Bitcoin are rising but the short interest is rising as well, that means that there's a lot of people trying to short the rally in Bitcoin. And if we don't see any response of selling as there are as as more shorts are pouring in, then all that means is that there's not enough short opportunity. There's not enough, or there's rather, there's not enough participants to move prices lower. And that means that all the people that have been buying are eventually going to have to cover because as the prices rally in Bitcoin, the short positions decrease in value and they're going to get, uh, uh, you know, you know, this is traded on margin. So you're going to have to eat a loss. And those people who are trying to short and are holding those shorts as, as Bitcoin is rising, they're going to have to cover and they're going to be turning into buyers. All right, so that is a, this is a good uh, a tool that not a lot of people utilize, but but people should. And in fact, I, I, I in, in, my, in my opinion, I think that this is a, this is a phenomenal tool that we have at our disposal because we get to see a, a chart that represents the actual participation of people who are taking the short side of this market and we really do not get access to this kind of information in other markets such as the futures or or in or in forex so we get to see a live representation of the shorts and they they even have a a, a long bitfinex has a chart showing the long participation as well all right so this is a very awesome and useful tool to implement into your trading in cryptocurrencies and i hope you found this video helpful and useful and i look forward to talking with to you in our next video have a great day bye bye